We are approaching the final year for preparations, preparations for London 2012. The organizers claiming the Olympics are on schedule and under budget. The legacy of its preoccupying is almost as much as the event itself. Our reporter, Olivia Stearns, caught up with the CEO of the London Organizing Committee, Paul Dayton. We're in great shape. You say with a year to go, we've raised over £2 billion. We've just about hit our sponsorship target. There was exceptional demand for tickets, so we're very comfortable we'll be able to meet our uh, objectives there. And Yeah, the new venues we're building out on the park are right on time and on budget. I'll say that again, on time and on budget. It's not often you get that with a project of uh, this scale and complexity with an immovable deadline. Now, the last two host cities, Beijing and Athens, they've both been left with these large, underused facilities. What are you doing to ensure that London isn't going to be left with these kind of white elephants? I mean, we're not going to have white elephants because we've planned from the very beginning to know exactly what we're going to do with our venues. And any venue for which there was not a long-term use, uh, we only built it temporarily or we used an existing venue. Oh, well, the interest out there has been terrific. I mean, taking those one by one, the Olympic Stadium already has a talent, a football club, you know, which is the best stable source of long-term revenue for a sports uh, sports venue. We've uh, we've just got final bids on the Olympic Village. Three big international investors really keen to own half of that village. Uh, the shopping centre you talked about, they already sold half of that to a, a Canadian and a Dutch pension fund at an extraordinary valuation for what you know traditionally in the East End of London has not been. Uh, an international asset class. And of course I have to ask you about ticketing. A lot of people in Britain were very disappointed that they couldn't get tickets. Why are you saying the whole system was a success? Well we had the most extraordinary demand for tickets. I mean we had uh, demand for 22 million tickets for the six million we had to sell to the UK public. So in terms of reflecting the interest of the UK public to be part of it and to come to the games, indeed we sold out on every sport for the tickets we've got available except soccer, for you know, which is uh, the sport with the most tickets. And we actually sold more soccer tickets than anything else. There's just a lot of them to sell. So selling out absolutely everything uh, in advance of 12 months of the games, I mean, that is quite extraordinary and tells you know just what the interest is of the public and of course has helped uh, you know extraordinarily with our own uh, commercial program too. Yeah the CEO of the London Organising Committee there Paul Dayton speaking earlier to Olivia Stearns.